How do you have a large language model write a larger document, like a book? In this part of the course, we're going to look at how you can do just that. We're going to see how you can have it create sort of a novel type book and uh, complete with table of contents. And in this case, it's a 20, I think about a 23 page book. You could certainly have it create longer length sort of documents as well using this technique of sort of breaking across apart the request into a number of different calls to the large language model. So here you can see the final output of this. I asked it to write an international spy thriller. And what it basically does is I have it generate first a random title for that. So I do one call and I say, hey, generate a random title for this. And it's like, oh, shadows across borders. I don't know, that sounds, that sounds legitimate. And then here we have, I have it then write a description for this. So in the shadowy world of espionage, former CIA operative Sarah Blake is pulled back into the fray when, so a former spy, I'm thinking John Wick at this point, who just tries to get out of it, but is just pull, pulled back in. I mean, in the case of John Wick, they they steal his car and kill his dog. What, what else is John Wick going to do but get back into back into the fray. So here's, then I have it create the complete table of contents, and then I have it one by one go and write each of the chapters. And I provide some additional contextual information, like I, I provide it with the overall summary and then the, the, the previous chapter so that it kind of knows where to continue with these things. If I was going to do a much more advanced version of this, and I've thought about this, this would be kind of fun, I would probably have it generate the six or so main characters, give them biographies, and have them, and, and kind of develop some character arcs and all of that, and then put it together sort of all, all into this. This is probably... This takes it decently far, but if I was on an international flight, I don't think I would choose this necessarily to read. But it's it's quite a legitimate approach sort of at, at this. Okay, so let's see the code behind this now. So here we have Large Language Model Writes a Book. I'm using OpenAI, so you'll need an OpenAI key if you want to do this. You could It's Langchain, so you could certainly have it use something else entirely if you, if you wanted to. The first thing that we do is we create the model. I'm using GPT-40 Mini, which should, should be entirely sufficient for this. If, this I, if I was doing this for real, I would probably have GPT-40 Mini be what I tested it on. And then I would use probably GPT-40 itself when I generated the final, final book that I was going to try to get people to actually read, I suppose. So then I create, some, I create the function here. I don't give it a whole lot of system prompt. I say you're an assistant helping to write a book. Then we pick our subject, International Spy Thriller. So, and then I tell it, give me a random title for a book on the subject, and then I fill it in. Return only one title, no additional text. This becomes very important here. I try to really lock it down to just give me the text. Don't say, here is a title that you, I, because that's just going to get in the way of my parser. And then I, after I get that, I run that, and it says Shadows Across Borders. Give me a synopsis for a book title of subject on the subject, and and it um, it now generates the synopsis in the shadowy uh, blah blah blah. It it gives you kind of what we what we had there before. Then I tell it, give me a table of contents for the book of title with the subject. So I tell it international spy thriller and the synopsis. So I give it all of this. And I think that synopsis is really important to give it for the table of contents because that helps it to really frame it across what was described there. And then we get all of this. And this is for the book that we just we just generated, by the way. You could give it a different a different um, subject, and it would certainly generate it. Now here I tell it when I tell it to create the table of contents, this becomes very important. I give it the exact format that I want for this because if I don't do this, it says chapter, it, it's hard to parse. So this, and then I tell it no additional text. 
and it does a good job of that. I tell it no additional text, and it is using the pipe just like I instructed so that my parser is now able to split these by the pipe, and I get basically just an array with no chapter numbers, because it really wants so badly to do that. It wants to say chapter one, period, or colon, and, and the shadows of the past. But I do that. And now we're gonna generate the chapters. So I create this render chapter, write a chapter, and I tell it what the chapter number is. I probably should have told it of 20 chapters or whatever so that it knows if it's near the beginning or near the end. Um, but I do give it the complete table of contents. So it, it knows sort of from that. I tell it what the synopsis is and the subject. So I didn't give it the prior chapter. That would have probably been useful or maybe the last paragraph of the, of the previous chapter. But at any rate, here we, here we are and it's, it's generating chapter one. Just, just so that I can see that it can do one chapter before I have it do the whole thing. The rain drummed softly against the window of Sarah Blake's dimly lit apartment. That's, that sounds like things are going to go south uh, in, a, in a movie. Uh, so that's, that's kind of where we're at there. And then as we go through, we start to build the book. So you can see when I put that PDF up before, we had the title, then we had the synopsis, then I throw in the table of contents. And then we just we just render all of these. And you can see I'm rendering them there. And it just keeps adding it to it. It's all in Markdown. Because we're going to convert the Markdown into, into a PDF. Then we generate the PDF of the book. We're using PDF Kit and also Markdown. And this does quite, quite well. And then you can, you can finally download it. And when you download it, that gives you that completed book that I saw showed you. And this is, this is how you generate something much, much bigger. If you try to do a book in a single prompt, it's not going to really work out that well. Thank you for watching this video, and uh, be sure to read the complete spy thriller that I have there. Now, you probably don't want to, but uh, if this video was useful, please give me a like and uh, subscribe to the channel so you, this, you see all the other projects that I, that I work on with this. Thank you for watching.